Hello guys, it's Danny from BinonBlock.com and today we're gonna unbox and uh, assemble if there's something to assemble, I don't know, maybe it's already comes assembled the record cleaning machine yes, finally I bought the vinyl record cleaning machine because before that, before until today I used very traditional ways to clean the records but starting today I guess I'm gonna use the high-tech technology and uh, this is the project project uh, VCS I got it from eBay for around uh, no, actually almost five hundred dollars which uh, is pretty expensive but I know there are different machines on the market which are more expensive initially I planned uh, to purchase a VPI 16.1 but uh, it was uh, retail price around seven hundred dollars I found some deal on Amazon for four hundred dollars and I I tried to purchase it right away but unfortunately the seller didn't sell uh, send it to me and didn't even contact me back good thing that money wasn't withdrawn and I could invest this money into project project is uh, very famous brand and uh, I have my experience with project uh, uh, I know them because of I, I use some uh, phone tube box uh, and uh, uh, I also had a turntable with the project on arm and I know they are high quality this uh, particular machine is made in the uh, Czech Republic and uh, let's okay let's stop talking and assemble it and uh, also by the way I want to mention that uh, uh, this machine comes without cover so I found a dealer here in uh, close to my house and I bought the cover separately for around uh, $40 including California taxes so this is a brand new cover so I'm gonna install it as well okay let's open this box and see how it looks like and uh, clean some records so in one box we have a power cable we have a empty can for the liquid we also have a, a box which includes the vacuum parts and uh, okay, that's the vacuum arm this is for the draining probably we'll see I don't, I'm not sure yet we will see eventually so this is the platter that's what I like about this machine that it's a mini platter it's not a regular platter so you don't it's a platter and the clamp to fix the record and this is the probably spare for the vacuum arm this is the spare thing to protect the record oh that's the good thing that's the project famous project brush I don't know if that's the one with the horse hair or not but that's it's a good thing I like it and that's the concentrate probably here is the machine itself pretty big very impressive it's a manual yeah okay cool it's a pretty brand new model by the way I don't know in the US it's for sure just started uh, to sell it should be pretty simple installation so there's not much to install actually the machine is ready to use and it looks pretty solid I mean, it looks like high quality machine should be pretty loud by the way so here is the uh, power outlet we we'll plug power here that's the main switch here we have the indicator of the liquid which uh, comes from the cleaning here we have a drain to drain this liquid and uh, when we don't drain it we just uh, 
use this cover here to close it and as you can see it's kind of woody body it's a wood makes I don't know if it's what kind of wood maybe it's not a yeah but that's a wood it's not metal <clears throat> here we put the platter and here we install the arm and as you can see this machine is ready for the cover installation we have tiny two holes here I don't know if you can see it but trust me two holes here two holes here we're going to install the cover as well from this side let me show you from this side we have a switch we have a motor switch which starts uh, moving the platter and we have vacuum on off I just opened the box uh, from the cover here we have all these screws and uh, brackets to install it to attach it to the body of the machine this is the vacuum arm it feels uh, pretty heavy I told you that we have extra brushes to protect the record it's pretty heavy it's a metal part not like VPI one which is uh, plastic and you install it like this and that's it it's installed let's install the platter by the way it's installed but it's not uh, fixed so you can easily remove it and when it uh, comes time to clean the record you just raise it a little bit and you can move it see once you put a record you just move it and put it back down again that's it it's a manual procedure this part is going to be fixed as you can see there is a little hole here and uh, here we have a little screw which is supposed to fix the platter so as you can see I place the metal platter and I'm fixing it with the screw and I'm using this tiny screwdriver and it's done so that's the self-attached label protector and we have identical one on the clamp so once you put the record on top of the platter it will just cover it so the rest the the only part that uh, left is uh, the installation of the cover which should take about two to five minutes and uh, connect it to power and we, we will be ready to try this beast so this is how it looks like we have two holes in each bracket and we have four screws obviously here you will need to use a, a regular Phillips uh, screwdriver and you just mount the cover on these metal parts let's do it so before we installing the uh, cover as you can see I want to show you holes here for the screws but before we doing it I want to show you that this machine comes with the nice legs which will protect your table desk whatever any surface you put it on it will be safe it looks like it's a rubber legs pretty easy even for not a handy person like I am so as you can see I installed both of them took me less than five minutes and now I'm gonna mount the cover so it will protect the machine from dust all you have to do is just mount it 
and that's it from both sides you mount it and that's it and it should be ready Opa. very nice very nice just like a turntable now I'm gonna connect the power the power cable looks just like any other computer cable nothing special about it regular connection that's it this is how the machine looks assembled I intentionally placed it close to my turntable so before I'm gonna listen to record I'm gonna clean it carefully and the only thing I would like to recommend you guys before you do whatever I just did well before you install the cover actually the rest of the things are not really important but before you install the cover make sure that uh, the machine works so now we're gonna test uh, the quality of uh, the cleaning and uh, see if it really makes a difference uh, I'm pretty sure it does I'm not gonna open this uh, bottle yet because I have my solution ready for now I have uh, something that left from previous cleanings I got this and I'm gonna use it I don't think it makes any difference for now and uh, let's see how it works now we will clean some record I found a very old about 40 years old record Soviet edition of Glenn Miller orchestra it's a jazz good jazz and uh, we're gonna listen to it before I clean it and uh, after I clean it we're not gonna listen a lot we're gonna listen just a little bit in order to get the impression if uh, the cleaning machine makes any difference okay let's do it as you can see this record is in a terrible condition I I am very surprised that I have uh, records in such condition but uh, I have a good excuse this record wasn't on turntable for uh, decades probably yeah let's uh, listen how it sounds like I will have to clean my stylus after that for sure you can hear it right right at the very beginning all this dust let's do it again I think it's enough now the record is ready to be cleaned I have to fix it properly I hope you see all this terrible dust on the record now we will make it disappear vacuum and we turn it on yeah as you can see it dries it very fast but still it looks like maybe I put a little bit too much because it's not completely dry let's see if I can make it dry yeah the record looks very clean now very clean all this dust disappeared magically I need to practice a little bit more on the second side and I put much less 
liquid Yeah, this was much better, still, probably a little bit more than required, but the record looks perfect, almost perfect. Okay, the record is clean, looks like new. To me it sounds much better. I also cleaned the stylus. Let's do it again. I feel like uh, we achieved some results and uh, we have uh, definitely improvement uh, after the cleaning. Uh, I'm pretty sure you feel it as well. And uh, looks like the machine works perfectly. I just have to get used to it, of course, like to any other thing. Uh, we, I, I still uh, don't know uh, about the long-term quality of the machine because I have it on the... I just received it of course but uh, i very hope so that uh, just like any other project uh, items this machine will be also high quality and will last uh, long and uh, i want to thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video please uh, put uh, like on youtube and uh, share it subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitter and uh, I very hope that my video helped you a little bit to decide what you need if you're on the market for a cleaning machine. So thanks again and uh, enjoy your life. This was Daniel from VinylBlog.com.